thing going on. Okay. In between. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this session is lightning talks. So for those of you who don't know, a lightning talk is a five minute presentation on a subject that's of interest to you. Now some of, some of well, interest to the whole group. Uh, the yeah. Some of you might think that then some of these lightning talks are ten minutes, but actually they're not. They're just two separate lightning talks of five minutes. Yeah. So Okay, so Pavez is going to start us off. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, so let's see, five minutes, okay. So um, my lightning talk is about the Google Summer of Code, uh, and it's an update to what we got up to and what happened. Uh, so for those of you that don't know what the Google Summer of Code is, this is off of the Google Summer of Code website. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a program that allows students to sign up for open source projects and not-for-profit projects um, and effectively develop software and be paid to do that development. Um, it's quite good in terms of the numbers. So if you look at uh, eight and a half thousand students participated from all over the world. Um, obviously we were, CVCRM got involved I think three years ago um, and this is the third year that we've been doing it and we've had quite a few successful projects. So um, Google Summer of Code is made up of mentors and mentees, and I couldn't think of a nicer way to put it than a blind date. So you kind of get to ask each other questions, and then you work out if you're going to be compatible or not. Uh, and then you finally get to see what you've ended up with. Um, <laughs> if, you, uh, if you want to see the core team, there's a link on that slide. You can have a look uh, who, the, who the team from the CVCRM side were. Um, and the projects that we ended up with were these five. Um, so we had an email preview cluster that was handled by Tim, should be around somewhere. Um, refunds and partial payments, that was mine. Implementing open source pool to data interface, uh, Ginkgo and Joe. Um, and Google Analytics with events was Kurund, who's around somewhere. Uh, and then strategic fundraising, and Bjorn's going to talk about that in his, his slide, um, in his session. So what I was just going to quickly do is just show you an example of a project. So the students are paid, and obviously the idea is that they deliver something and not that they're just paid to, to be students. Um, so this project was about uh, basically adding the ability to, to analyze and track uh, events um, in CVCRM. So uh, basically the students work involved adding a tab called web tracking to the events uh, config. Uh, with all of these kind of options, so you can set your Google Analytics tracking side to, to track exactly what you want to track. Um, just going through the project, so what that means is when you turn that on, you can look at your analytics and you can see how many visits you're getting to that event, um, how many people are coming, when they're coming, uh, what countries they're coming from, what they're clicking on, um, and you can really get some of the power of Google, Google Analytics to work out uh, effectively A-B testing of your, of your events. So you might set up an event in a particular way, watch it for a few weeks, uh, see what happens, and then have a, have, a, have a different link, which is set up a slightly different way, asking different questions, uh, and see how that link goes. Um, so even right down to the fees that people select, uh, whether they make it through the journey, so they might start the registration page. So here we can see 19 people started, but only four of them ended up in the uh, confirmation, so there's a dropout rate that's quite high, obviously. Um, and you can use uh, other breakdowns there, so the monetary side, like where, where is the, where is the uh, income coming from? So if there are people making extra donations during the events, you can see that as well. Uh, and then finally, there's the web tracking report within CVCRM itself, um, and unless I'm mistaken, that looks like CV visualized, but I might be wrong. Um, and the reports that it gives you then in, in CIVI uh, as well to do with that. So that's one of the examples. Um, the other was A-B testing, so I kind of mentioned it, uh, and it's basically to let you, uh, let you have two pages running, a bit like email, where you can see which one's the more effective. Um, and you can see from, from this one uh, which one's the winner. Uh, the, the version two had the higher hit rate. Um, Etc. So that's an example. That's what we expect from the students. Um, the projects are opening now for 2016, I think. 
Um, so if anybody, we don't want to show that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, if you want to get involved, uh, do let us know. It is an interesting experience. This is my first year as a, as a Google Summer of Code mentor. Uh, I'm not sure what will happen next year, but hopefully I'll get to see the student first. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that sounded wrong. No, uh, I'll, I'll ask better questions, I think, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, and yeah, so if uh, any other questions, feel free to, sh to shout. And Bjorn's going to show some of his stuff after the next talk. So. <coughs> cool. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Thank you.